Hey guys and girls, so I'm going to be doing my challenge mode maps for these ones. I will not be uploading two, so one challenge mode, one normal mode. I'll probably be trying to fold them both in together. So, for this particular map, which is the very first one, WDEX1, uh, the challenge mode actually moves the drone deployment tile over here into the corner which makes this map a hell of a lot easier because all the enemies are weak to physical so as you saw with my normal mode map the way I was doing this I went fairly caster heavy I've got midnight here so I'm actually going to swap some of these operators out so I won't need orchard for example so we'll swap orchard in uh, out sorry for cruise Uh, and the same goes for Steward. I will be swapping Steward out for a Uh, I've lost... There I am. Uh, the rest will remain the same. So two, two block band guards, two tanks, uh, just to be on the safe side of things. Two healers, two snipers, single target snipers, an AoE sniper, uh, an AoE guard. Uh... Just an AoE, an Arts AoE, AoE Arts. Uh, if you want to bring another AoE Sniper, you can. Not an issue, and I have Midnight here as well. Uh, Midnight is just going to be helping out, clear out behind uh, where I'll place Popka. So you'll see how that all works itself out. So this first map is fairly straightforward. There's nothing too particularly complicated about it. Um, the operators are fairly interchangeable. So the team I'm running with, well, it's just a three-star team I've thrown together to be entirely frank with anybody. So uh, I've started off with my two vanguards who are attacking across one another. That way they can help each other out. A healer up here, and basically we want our healers to be able to hit this tile here just below Fang. So another healer here, and again, as you see, just so we can heal this tile here. And now we're just going to start deploying in our snipers. Okay. There we go. Got to deploy midnight here, facing down. Okay. And that's so he can attack this tile here specifically, and I don't want him facing forward because he'll start attacking drones when they come out. So I just want him focusing on the enemies that are coming along. So if he attacks, obviously straight down here, that's not going to hinder anyone. <laughs> So, once our first Urgot leaders come out, um, I'm just going to try and try and be a little bit sneaky because I want to try and do that. So, I'm going to sneak in Catapult just here. And I'm going to sneak, sneak in Popcar here. Which is fine, and last but not least, Beagle will be my last in, so I'm going to deploy Beagle just down here in the corner where I said I needed my healers. So I'll just fast forward now. So Beagle is basically going to be soaking uh, for no absolute reason at all. That's all her role is going to be. She'll block a couple of units, but she won't block everything, which is, again, perfectly fine. Because she's just there to delay. So as you see, we've got these tactical crossbow guys. And they're just going to start sending drones over towards Beagle. And those drones do actually have an 8 tile splash. So the 8 surrounding tiles, they will splash. So that's why I've got... Popka spaced out a bit. That's what, yeah, that's the reason for the tank spacing. So now Beagle will just get to work on those enemies. 
Um, I think there's six of them that come out. I haven't actually counted them because they all end up piling up and then I don't know how many there are. So when this next group comes out, we're just gonna use a knack kill skill to try and keep on top of all these enemies. I'm gonna use uh, midnight skill and what I'm gonna do is just slowly cycle through um, my operator skills. So use beagle skill here. So now I'm just sort of keeping an eye on that, so... Uh, that enemy looks alright. So now we have one enemy that's up here, so I'll use Popka's skill. And... I think these two... No, they can't be the last two. So I'll use Catapult's skill now. No, they were the last two. Okay, fantastic. So, once that last runner is down, you're pretty safe to yank out Beagle. Uh, you can wait until Popka takes out that one, just to sort of narrow down some of what's going on if you really want, because those drones, once they're pulled through and targeted on something, they won't actually move at all. So, you are quite alright to do whatever you want. We'll use our healer skills. Uh, not going to need knack kill anymore. So, now once they get to pop car, we will pop down lava. And we'll use lava's skill. Because we can. And that's it. Done. Nice and simple. Um, obviously, that was the full three star squad, so you don't really need anything too special. Um, the idea is just to have a diversion for those drones, because once they've got their target, that's it. They won't move from there until they expire. So that's it. Let's see for the next one, guys.